Well, it's set to be a big week in Washington. The American president has cleared his schedule to focus all attention on building support for intervention in Syria. Today, US politicians are back at work, all ready to be lobbied on the issue of military action. President Obama is also scheduled to conduct six television interviews today with American networks. Then on Tuesday, a debate on Syria is expected in the Senate. President Obama will then seek public support in his address to the nation from the White House. A vote in the Senate could take place as early as Wednesday, although the timetable here is not so certain. Should it happen, a Senate vote to pass the resolution could take place on Thursday, but many US politicians remain concerned that any action could draw the nation into a prolonged war. Well, with me is William Polk, a veteran foreign policy consultant and former US presidential advisor. But that doesn't quite do him justice. His involvement in US foreign policy stretches all the way back to advising President Kennedy on the Cuban Missile Crisis, helping LBJ on drawing up a peace deal after the Six Day War. His isn't so much a CV as a history of the last half of the 20th century, and we're delighted to welcome you to the studio. Thank you very much indeed for being with us. Um, what do you think the US administration should do on the evidence it has now over Syria? Well, the first thing I think they need to do is to be very sure of the evidence. Uh, we get such conflicting reports from various different sources that um, uh, as, as a historian, I've seen that we can always deal with incomplete information. But in this particular case, there's conflicting information. We don't know who did what to whom. We know that a, a certain number of people were killed. One group says 350, another group, the British intelligence says about 500, French intelligence says about 400, and the American government says 1,400 and some odd. Um, we need to know that for sure, one way or another. Can we? Uh, yes, you can count the bodies uh, that, that are on the ground, but that's not really the important piece of information. The important piece of information is what's going to happen if we do go into Syria and do anything about it. Um, first of all, the issue is, is a legal one. Are we allowed to go into Syria? Because the Syrians, as President Obama has said, pose no danger to our countries. And according to the... Um, Let me just interrupt you there. I, mean, I just kind of... But, you know, Kosovo was the example where you could...